Welcome to Authentic English Podcast, your weekly show where education meets recreation. Here's your host with 20 years plus of teaching experience, Marcia Pike. Marcia Pike here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another authentic English podcast episode. Today's show is brought to you by Audible. Want to get a free audiobook download and a 30 day free trial? You, authentic English podcast listener and viewer, can. Just go to audibletrial.com slash authentic English. There are over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm going to add the link to the show notes, okay? So let's get to today's show. So, how was Easter and April Fool's Day yesterday? For the first time since 1956, Easter and April Fool's Day fall on the same day. That's a first, at least for me. In the 20th century, Easter and April Fool's Day coincided in 1923 and 1934. They will also fall on the same day in 2029, and then again in 2040. Well, although Easter is on a different date every year, April Fool's Day is always celebrated on April 1st. So, are you a prankster or a trickster? A person who likes to play tricks and jokes on people? If so, you must love April Fool's Day, right? Did you play any practical jokes yesterday? You can also say you play tricks, pranks, and hoaxes. Note that jokes, tricks, pranks, and hoaxes are all nouns, which are ways to deceive someone, which means to persuade someone that something false is true in order to, to make them laugh, but not to cause harm or damage. If you played pranks on people yesterday, you tried to pull their leg. To pull someone's leg is an idiom which means to try to make someone believe in something that is not true. So, did they fall for it? The phrasal verb to fall for something means to be tricked, deceived, fooled into believing something that is not true. Note that the verbs trick, deceive, and fool are all synonyms. They have the same or nearly the same meaning. Note that the word fool can be either a verb or a noun. You can use it as a verb, as in to trick someone, or as a noun, as a person who is not intelligent um, and does not have good judgment. Not only people play hoaxes, even well-established brands prank the public for publicity on April Fool's Day. They announce new products and services near April 1st to trick their customers. As Easter and April Fool's Day collided after 62 years, some companies have decided to play Easter slash April Fool's Day pranks on their customers. Burger King, for example, tricked their customers by announcing a video of a chocolate Whopper on its Facebook page. The burger is just dreamy. It includes a chocolate cake bun, flame grilled chocolate patty, raspberry sauce, white chocolate rings candied with blood oranges, milk chocolate leaves, and vanilla frosting. It really does look amazing. At the end of the video, they say, come soon, maybe. Hershey's also pranked their customers by swapping real eggs by Reese peanut butter cream eggs at the ShopRite in New Jersey. They said uh, they set up hidden cameras to capture the customers' reactions. Not only were there chocolate hoaxes on April Fool's Day, eHarmony, an online dating site, hoaxed their clients as well. They posted forever love service to help pets find companions that are good playmates and actual mates. They did a play on words of forever and forever, spelled F-U-R-E-V-E-R, as fur, as in cat or dog fur. Well, if you want to go the extra mile, please email me at marcia at authenticenglishpodcast.com to get a free transcript of today's episode. I'm going to add the links of the Burger King and Hershey's videos to the show notes, okay? I'm also going to add the link of a Time Magazine article of the best April Fool's Day pranks of 2018 
as well as a link of the top 100 April Fool's Day hoaxes of all time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get a notification as soon as a new video comes out, okay? If you know anyone who will also benefit from today's content, please share it with them. Sharing is caring. Well, I hope you have an amazing week listening to your free audiobook from Audible. Have a good one. Great having you with us today. Keep on with Marcy on social media. Head over to AuthenticEnglishPodcast.com to practice what you've just learned. And subscribe, rate, and review. Take care. <laughs>